Good morning, folks. Welcome to Whatever Wednesday. Once again, we're playing Hydroneer. It's fun. It's just kind of a nice, chill experience as long as I'm not yelling at, like, pipes or the shovel or something else. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be continuing playing some more of that. We got some... We finished digging out a new hole last uh, Saturday. And so now we can start working on getting some new machines in there and getting more dirt and getting more stuff and just having a good time. But before we get on to that, I am still trying to fundraise to help my good friend Hachiko uh, get back on his feet. Help pay for a deposit for a new place so we can move in some cool people that will help keep him safe. Just support. <laughs> so if you're able to help do so, I have Hachiko's coffee link in on my layout. I have it in I have a chat bot that will share it every once in a while and I have a command for it. So if you need it, it's there and any help to Hachiko is greatly appreciated. All right. <clears throat> my throat's still full of garbage. Um I was I have, I have installed the uh, more pickaxes mod. No one cover me while I'm casting, jeez! It works! Hello, hug dispenser! <laughs> It is loud. I could probably make it a little quieter, but that's it's at base. At base, it is a little noisy. <laughs> it it worked flawlessly. You're a genius. But yeah, I installed this more pickaxes mod that lets us have a pickaxe that isn't dog water. But yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna hit continue. Stream world. We're gonna delete this one. And this is our one that we um, we're playing on. Yep. All right. How fucked up are you? Zero, twenty-two, forty-five, thirty-three, forty-five. Oh, you've got two repairs left in you. Let's grab this one. Um, I'll, 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 I'll try to remember see if there's any other sound effects I want from Legendia. Maybe don't. Maybe one of the only other ones would be the uh, bonking sound when uh, Will just smacks the shit out of someone in the top of their head. Hello, 3Gs. Welcome. I hope you had a good time yesterday being gay. <laughs> You're like, it's always a good time being gay. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna be focusing on this hole that I blasted out with uh nuke nukes. <laughs> I blasted this hole out with nukes last stream near the end because I was just kind of filling the time, and I need now need now need to figure out how many of these machines. It was being gay day. Why wasn't I even? I, I think it was specifically being gay between three G's and his partner, so it, it was a bit more of a, a private affair. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna try to get some of these uh, pipes down here. Just, just so I could figure out um, how many I, I can, how many machines I can fit down here, because we want to fill this up with um, more of these drills, so we can just get a bunch more resources going. It already seems like we got a lot, and it kind of is a lot, but tier two machines cost a lot of clautium, and it's pretty uncommon at this depth and size. Well, I don't know. I don't know about the commonness, but I know that like the size at this height is pretty low for how uncommon it is. We were being gay, really gay at a restaurant, and then came home and were gay and danced in the kitchen. That's really cute. I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy that y'all were able to be gay. <laughs> World needs more of that. Um, 
Let's see. My guess is that we'd probably be able to fit like seven or eight machines down and just in like this clump right here. Maybe even ten, because what I'm wanting to do is have machines on this side, have a conveyor belt in the middle, and have more machines on that side, and then have the conveyor belts go up and out and over the river to the other side, and just have a massive amount of dirt just flowing all into that one. <laughs> like we're going full, like, industrial age, <laughs> this shit, or at least trying to. But I gotta first see how many I can fit down there so I don't make too many machines. Because then they'll just be bumping around and wasting my time, wasting space, and... Overall, it would just not be great to waste space or resources on machines I don't need. Two, three, four... Five... We're gonna have... We'll start putting these here, because this wall... It's a little too um, claustrophobic to... Okay, it dips in, but then there's not much space there. Um, so, so far we've got two, three, four, five. And honestly, that's as many machines as we have on one, one side on down there. Which I know we can fit more. I know for a fact. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, my guess is like it's gonna be like 14 or 16, but we'll see. Because these pipes I'm putting in now are the ones that are necessary to fit. Two, three, four, five, six. Zri North. <laughs> Zrenorf. <laughs> Sounds like the name of like a freaking sorcerer living in a tower. Oh no, that's the tower of the great Zre Zrenorf. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's gonna work. And that will work. Yep, that's as many as I'm gonna be able to fit. In this hole, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we did fit eight. <laughs> That's the Kingdom Hearts dude, right? Oh yeah. There's there's Renorf. He he controls the darkness. I have no idea. I've literally never played Kingdom Hearts. It just seems a little too complex for no good reason. Like why? <laughs> And why is Disney there? <laughs> why the fuck is Donald Duck there? I'm 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 just never gonna understand why. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's great and all, but like, mm, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, let's let's rest because it's getting a little too dark for Mubus to dark. curious to see if I can place these blocks and cross the river with them. I'm not actually trying building anything over the river, so that might be an important thing to um, note in my quest to make this ridiculous conveyor belt. So for now we're just going to try to put these blocks in the ground and see if they'll, if they'll let me. Okay. Not at that point, so... I mean, I'm just kind of testing if I can build over the river. I mean, it's looking promising so far. Because okay. I don't really need to um, 
have a blocks over there. I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I'm going to have the blocks at all. Um, well, it's looking like this place over here is a little higher up on this bank. So... <clears throat> Okay, so uh, we need three more elbows over here. I should have installed the. Um, there's a there's a mod that lets you buy like storage crates or whatever. I don't know if it'd let me install it and download it while we have the client open, but <laughs> but it, it basically like you put something in the box and then you can like kind of click on it a little bit in a certain way and then you can have it like add that many more in the box without having to actually pick them up. It's mostly a quality of life thing, but I feel like it would be kind of nice. But regardless, we're going to need more of these elbows because we're, we're fresh out of elbows. <laughs> and I think it was Stick Assassin uh, was suggesting that we um, have just like carts for specific things that we have buy a lot of or store need to store a lot of like pipes or whatever. Get it, get in the, get in the cot. So there's not really a true storage system in this game. Like Minecraft has like chests or whatever, but there's not really anything like that in this game. Huh? Come on, I gotta figure out the right angle to buy these because I need a, I need a fair amount of them. There we go. Ah, come on. Sink, in, sink into the the abyss like you're supposed to. Alright, that's probably good enough for those. Uh, we're, we're probably going to need like, at least like two more of these, too. Get in there, okay. Um, probably at least a few more of these. I don't know if I... I don't know the numbers of the other kinds of pipes I have, but... See how much? Okay, we're good on money in there. These pipes aren't that expensive. We're buying a lot of them, but they're not that expensive. And we're gonna need them if we're gonna get the um, get the other side over there set up with machines. Although what we might do now is we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need like sixteen drills. We know we know how many drills we need. We should probably see if we have the iron now to get those. I was trying to wait till it's uh. Well, I mean, I could just turn it off, I guess. We're just gonna sit that there. It doesn't need to be hot. Bar's not hot. Alright, how big are you? Oh. 1,676. I mean, that's alright. Each drill takes 300, so we're a little, we're a little shy there. So I got like an extra bar somewhere. I do. It's looking a little. It's looking a little small, but I guess we'll see how much we have in total. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Come on, get on top. You know you want to. Come, fucker. All right. Okay, that. That's a little bit more. We have like twelve thousand now. It looks like. Let's take this one off and Okay, that's 10,000, so that should be more than enough to make the drills we need.
Let's condense everything into one bar, though, because that is just less work. Okay, we'll load that into the truck. I'm just curious the size of it, though. 12,308 pounds. Nice. Now to make the uh, cloudium stuff, we also need iron, so we're not gonna we're gonna use up as little as possible. I can't remember if I took a cart down there to. Um, I can't remember if I took a cart over to Ice Helm or yet or not. So we're probably gonna drag one of those carts with us with our 296 grand. <laughs> That way, if I don't have one there, I can leave one there for hauling stuff around. And if I do, then, well, I can just bring this back. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we got our iron bar. We got our money. Because we're also going to go to Ice Helm to buy the pickaxe station so we can start upgrading our pickaxes to be more useful for digging. Uh, let's just go ahead and fill up the tank with water as well. Should we have a should have a wayward bucket somewhere or a pan or something. Bucket will do. Get in the water. <laughs> you give me a hassle getting on top of this truck. There we go. We'll just keep that bucket with us in the truck. Off we go to town. Actually, the Ice Helm, which I don't know if it really counts as a town. It's kind of a weird deal since it's like a door, like a dwarven ruin in the side of a mountain. I don't know if that really counts as a town. <laughs> yeah, we'll drive this way. We got a little bit of air time. It's kind of weird. All right, and then we'll just kind of hook around this way. And then we can get up. gonna get out what's over here uh gems eh you're gonna you're more than likely gonna want to use your gems to make things to um sell for money so selling raw resources by themselves is usually not really recommended once you're past like the super early game anyway yeah now normally you can like put stuff in here and i'll go down to like the ice helm dig sites little drop off area but I don't want to go down that far. We don't need to go down that far to get to the anvil place. So we're not going to go down that far. We're going to take this cart here and... Go in with our bar. Just jump down to the bottom of the mine shaft like a normal adjusted people. Okay. Let's see, we've already got stuff here. These are these little these little models here are the uh, crafting selection for what you want to make on this big ass anvil. We are gonna want to make this drill, this tier one forged iron drill. So we're just gonna pop this on here. Maybe a little. I mean, it does probably doesn't matter that much, but there we go. <laughs> okay, we'll grab our iron bar. We'll drop it in there. And we could technically just start going and crafting away, but I'm curious to see if there's a cart anywhere in this place. Plus, I need to go buy the, uh, the pickaxe um, station, I believe, probably from here. So we're going to kind of poke around anyway. See what's 
See what's what. Okay, no cart here. That's fine. Here we go. That's the new, um, there's a pickaxe station here. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, we'll just buy this real fast because. Uh, <laughs> kind of awkward to, to, to place, but that's okay. Alright. Oh, unless there's, unless there's a cart down at the uh, actual dig site. <laughs> Let's just put this, put the damn thing like right on top. Unless there's a cart down at this dig site here, it means I didn't end up bringing a cart down to Ice Helm. Which is fine. Like, I'll just use this cart and probably keep it up top where I do stuff. Man, yeah, this, this leads down to the uh, dig site at Ice Helm that you... Oh, I do have a cart here. Okay, well, we're probably not going to keep it down here because I have no intentions of... The fuck was that? <laughs> I, I have a feeling my... I have a feeling this uh, pickaxe station was trying to make a great escape. <laughs> Let's let's uh, not let that happen. Can I can this go in here and go away? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. It's, that means it's loaded into the truck. Let's get our <laughs> let's get our cart down from the fucking wall. Um. Oh, well, we don't really need our money with this. Yeah. Thing. Just bought that thing. Hello, Nakura. Welcome. All right, let's get our money put away. And I don't think these carts can get put in here. I I think I tried like. Yeah, unfortunately the carts can't go through the little thing. So we are going to haul these carts back up top. I hope you're having a great day today, Nakora. Thanks for st stopping in. As you can see, we're playing more of the diggy game. We're at the, uh, the, the dwarf like mountain city place. D getting ready to craft a bunch of drills. I just woke up. You need to get up. Ah. Yeah. I feel ya. Like even like on Wednesdays and my Saturday streams, I do. Um, I start at eight a.m. instead of like seven. Uh. Ah. <laughs> but still, even that extra hour, my body's just like, uh, just lay in bed, you fool. And I'm like, no. I will not lay in bed. Oh, well, there's that. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put this um, this this cart back in the um, things kind of awkward. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, me too, buddy. That's how I feel when I'm getting out of bed at like eight in the morning. Like, why am I up yet already? <laughs> Laying in bed is the best. Yep, just <laughs> exist. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee and a bite of my rapidly cooling breakfast food on the left. Crunch. <laughs> and we'll come. I did, in fact, leave a cart here. And we'll um, have this one. Because it's, it's a lot easier if I bring this up with me. 
and leave it up top to you to, to like off like I bring like a bar of iron or cloudium or whatever and put in this and then bring it back down the elevator shaft and use it to kind of move stuff around that way it's easier doing it that yeah this game's got it's a little larger this is like where you craft your um, craft stuff like your drills and stuff because you can only buy one uh, harvester and one forge iron drill for initially but but after after you get here and you start buying the molds for these you can just make as many as you have the resources for yeah, we'll just get here leave our cart here now we've, we've got the iron dot we've got the forge iron drill selected it takes 300 iron per and I think we've got like 12,000 irons worth in here we also have this like this little um, what you call it it's a little scale here that isn't actually placed down but it was discovered last stream that even if it's not placed down if you hover stuff near it if it hit, does the touches the hitbox it'll show you the weight so we're kind of cheating the system a little bit of having this here anyway let's start making drills we need 16 of them now I'll just start toss them in here one That's kind of annoying that after every single one you gotta put the, the bar back in. Two. I'm just curious. Let's see what happens when I have one still there. Oh, the, the bars. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's two. It's three. <laughs> it's just gonna... It occupies the same space. That would be four. Five. Six. See, I know how to count, I think. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's like it's like hooked on phonics with the Eldritch Eldritch Space Bean. Niner. <laughs> Ten. Yeah. Okay. Ten. Eleven. And that should be 16. Alright. Oh, uh oh. It's gained a lot. It's, it's, it's gained sentience. It's like, why do I exist? Starts rolling around, thrashing around like. <laughs> it's like, me too, bud. I understand. Surprised they haven't like launched into space at this point. So note to self: if don't probably don't make that many without moving them first, because it's 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 gyrating once I grab one out of the pile, put down. 
I think I think it's accept I think it's accepted the grim reality that is does in fact exist as not a piece of iron anymore. <laughs> just the, the existential dread of being <laughs> of existing. It's just like ah oh, fuck, fine, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> And the reason I'm avoiding this grate is that you can fall through that grate. There's a there's a um, a mod on the workshop that patches that, but <clears throat> I'm just I just I I literally fell through this grate like twice last stream, <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid it. But I think this little cross section area is like the little cross area here is safe to walk on. Now hopefully I put my truck in the right place, or else this is gonna get messy. I probably didn't do that. I probably forgot to, cause I was like messing around with my cart or something. And if so, well, it'll be a little te it's gonna be a little tedious getting them all in there, but they stack once they hit the truck bed, so it's not the end of the world. It's why it pays to have at least some part, some portion of a brain. Okay, I think we've got enough of them placed, taken out of the pile that it's stopped resisting. There's probably just not enough of them merged together. Okay, that was that was because that was the last one. <laughs> well, wonder no more. All right, we got the bar put in. We could probably just put that through anyway, but like, I got I got to take the cart back up top anyhow. I'm curious. If I do unstuck, well, where's that put? Why did it put me here? <laughs> what? I mean, we still have all our stuff, but why did it put me here when I unstucked instead of, like, I don't know, somewhere in Ice Helm? It's alright. This isn't really that far away. It's just kind of weird that it teleported me all the way over here and there's not, like, an unstuck spot near the top of Ice Helm. They probably did that to discourage, like, people just doing that to get out of Ice Helm really fast, I can imagine. Although, it doesn't matter. This is a single-player game. Who cares? Then again, they do keep fixing... They, they have fixed, like, game-breaking bugs where you can just, like, steal from the shop, so... There, there is some game integrity, like, value to not being able to just, like, cheese your way out of that place immediately to the very top. I still don't really agree with it because who, who cares? It's a single player game. There's not there's not like competitive hydroneer leaderboards. <laughs> but regardless, oh yep, I to I <laughs> I totally didn't park the truck where it needs to go. So we just we just got a pile of drills now. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're just gonna leave the cart like somewhere up here <laughs> while I sort this fucking mess. Well, let's, well, let's uh, let's get the truck a little closer to um. Now, something we could do is we could uh put all these drills in there, and then go down to the ice helm dig, and then put all the drills. No, that's that's extra steps for no reason. My brain's... I'm trying to have a big brain, and then brain's just a little small. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's ain't gonna be that bad. Huh? Just a pile... Just a pile of... An absolute fucking pile of these damn things. It's, pro it's probably smarter if we grab from the top, I'll, I'll, I will admit. Oh, well, s s silly. It's because we want to use them. We're going to be setting them up today. And the, I don't know if you're here near the end of last stream, but we used some nukes to like blow open a hole in the ground that was like across the river at that Ember Cradle place. And there's 
uh, another hole that's as deep as deep as the other side. So we're going like industrial, like revolution scale with this dig. We don't have to, but we are. This and we're just gonna go. Wee! Ooh, that's a pretty sick air. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be trying to put these in, and we're gonna need to buy more pipes, and you know, you know the usual. We bought we bought some more pipes already, a little earlier. Oh. I hit a signpost, and now it doesn't want to let me go. Out we go, and yeah, this stuff was running while we were gone, so let's fix the first two. Okay, so we got all the drills we're going to need, and see, I don't know if it's night or morning, hard to tell. If the little dots start to disappear, then it's probably night. I mean, if it's probably morning, but... Yeah, it looks like it's probably getting a little darker. Let's sleep anyway. It won't matter. Okay, it might have been starting to become morning. Whatever. Don't care. Um, so, we're gonna, we're, gonna run, we're gonna run this bit of pipe over this way. We could just do another bit of pipe, but then I have to use more uh, pipe uh, filters. And that's just annoying, so... We are gonna... Um, Figure out the point of entry for this stuff. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Cause one, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on, game. It's fine. You're just staring at an empty hole f with like eight pipes in it. <clears throat> You're like, but I really want to crash. <laughs> I, uh, crashing is what all I've ever wanted to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, I think I have. I think I know how we're gonna de deal with these pipes. In that case, <clears throat> so. yep, the boys are behind me doing dumb cat shit. Like one, I think one of them was like biting the other or some shit. You know how cats are. Well, I think you at least. At least I think you, I know you. I think you know how cats are. You got two cats, and sometimes they just rough house because. Cats or cats, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna need. Um, we'll start orienting these pipes how they should be going. We're gonna have. Uh. Actually, most of these are going to be T's instead of elbows, if I'm not mistaken. But then that gives me the problem of... Because these, these all need to be con connected to... Um, I need to be connected to the water source, but they also need to connect to the machine. The only way I can really think to do that 
easily is to have them all be elbows that are kind of going up this way. Okay, let's move these, let's move these straights out of the way. Typical straights being in the way. We'll, gr we'll grab some of these. We'll, gra we'll just grab my pipe cart over here. Slime Ridge is good fun. I think the second one's out now, too. Wait, I I've played some Slime Ridge. We're not on stream, I don't think, but I've played played through the majority of it when it came out. Good fun. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I might have miscounted how many drills I can actually use because this might get a little awkward over here. We'll see when it comes to it. It's probably not the best time to do something like that. I mean, if it really comes, if it really comes to it, I could probably just like have the other drills like up there or something. I don't know. Okay, so we got those pipes in place. Uh, let's just kind of put those up in the air somewhere. It doesn't really matter right now. They can kind of hang out in the air, as you do. So sometimes you just got to levitate in midair. <laughs> it's just one of those days, you know? So let's see. Machine's going to go there. Conveyor there. Machine. Pipe. Yeah, we're, we're going to run into some problems doing exactly what I was thinking of doing. The only saving is to be if I can move this pipe back. Uh, I mean, it looks like I technically could put it back there. Can I do that with all the pipes? Huh? No. Okay. So I probably miscounted the amount of machines I could use, which means I probably made too many drills. Which is, which is what I was afraid of doing. Truth be told, I was afraid of making too many drills because, you know, I can only fit so many in this fucking hole over here. Um, let's see, because machine, conveyor belts have to go here. They'll be, the conveyor belts will be fine. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I made too many machines. I'm not going to be able to fit all the machines I was wanting to in here. Like, we can only really fit machines here. Well, you could, we could fit more machines higher, but the higher up you go, like, the less valuable, the, the smaller the dirt pieces you get. And honestly, this whole thing we're doing is completely unnecessary because, like, it's, it's just something they make it easier to get the uh, next tier up of stuff because we need Cloud Team to make those drills. Okay, so that's going to be eight. That's going to be 12. Meaning I have four extra drills. I might be able to figure out somewhere to put them down here. Uh, I could probably fit in at least one more set. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Let's just uh, move that right there for now. I could, I could, I think I should be able to fit another set in, like right there. Maybe even uh, another. Maybe I, could, I might be able to fit in two more sets there. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Get that out of the way. Um. Yeah, because if I have 12 here and, and four extra ones of that, we'll use up all the drills. It's just not exactly how I wanted it to go. 
But what we can do with some of these straight pipes is we can uh, we can kind of place them down where the conveyor belts are gonna go, which is like in this area. Because the conveyor belts also have to have water. I guess we should probably empty out the. We should probably figure out where we're gonna have our water stuff coming from. <clears throat> uh, let's go. I know I have a T pipe in here somewhere. There we go. Let's see. Why? Right, right, right. Yep. And then we need some more T pipes for these so they can all connect up to the same water. And then we'll, hmm. And I'm not like super, like there's only so fast these little tier one drills can really go anyway, so I don't know if it's even worth the time making sure they have above 100% water pressure, but I'm also just trying to make it to where I can easily load this thing with like one shard bar and then call it good without having to worry about, uh, It's like shenanigans, so. I'm just trying to get these blocks in a semblance of where they might need to go so that I could. <laughs> so that I can easily access the little pressure gauge for these to, to drop in power whenever I need. Just. To make it as easy as possible to work with this stuff. Because if I make it hard to work with, then it's not really worth my time to set it up. Any, If I'm setting it up bad in the first place, then it's just going to not be great overall. I guess. Oh, that was the last block. Okay. I thought I had more blocks than that. I mean, I did place a lot of fucking blocks. Let's be real. I can grab these because these were kind of just to measure out like where stuff was anyway. Wee, just in the hole. I think I can still get out from this side. Alright, well. Right, so, I need some more T's. For now, I'm going to offload the pipes. Although again, it might be it might be worth my time um, going get, getting enough carts to just hold all the different pipes I would use. But once we get to the next places, we won't be using these iron pipes anymore. We'll be using the tier two stuff, tier two pipes, because they support a much higher water pressure. They're also quite a bit more expensive, but that's why we're going to be building this initial um, like this initial place up to our. It can make us a good amount of... It already has made us a lot of money. It probably just got plenty more money where that's come from as it is. Because we've just not really been doing anything with the gold. It's just been building up. So our money worries are probably unfounded at this point. But... So we're more, we're more, bu we're more building this place up for the sake of... Uh, For the sake of getting the cloutium that we need to make the next level of machines. Okay, there. Okay, there. There is a T pipe in here. I was, was kind of thinking, hmm, I can't really tell if there's a T pipe in here or not. All right. So, uh, let's get on out of here. There's another straight pipe. We'll just kind of we'll just kind of place those in mid air, just to get them out of the way. It looks weird, but it, the the game allows there to be just flying pipes in the air. Then I'll I'll do it, you know. 
<laughs> okay. Because now we need to buy a bunch of tea pipes and I might start doing the, the idea of um, having a cart specifically for each kind of pipe. Although, honestly, I might be a little late to the party for that. Nice storage. <laughs> Hey, it, sometimes you got you, sometimes you just gotta store things in midair. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is nothing but tea pipes. We'll use up what's in here, or we'll, and then we'll place the remainder, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> it is a little bit dark, so we'll sleep. That way it starts lightening up while we're just working on it. <sighs> Delicious bean juice. So, I keep saying the same stupid joke in my head. It's everyone's favorite rapper, T-Pipe. <laughs> like it's like the the worst joke ever, but I'm just, it's just I just keep saying it in my head, just kind of laughing to myself. Yeah, we need these T-pipes here so they can share the water from here. <clears throat> That's the only way we're going to get all these on the same kind of like water. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We are going to probably need most, if not all, these pipes just to kind of connect things up. We're going to go through an obstacle course. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we can just kind of climb out of there like that. Nice. Uh, let's see. Then we need an elbow for that one. Just so happens it's in the right orientation. That's convenient. In that case, we're going to place the elbow down for... We'll place the elbow down for this side too, because this side's gonna need an elbow probably on that one, so it can connect also to other pipes. Yep. Okay. need a pipe right there connecting up and we'll have that connect to this main line as well that's gonna okay so those are all outputting the machines so we've got to figure out and then these are not the right way around Go. I'm essentially gonna build the plot a platform over to where I want these uh, the little pressure chamber to go, and in doing so, we will 
Hmm. Actually, if I'm going to have a central thing here, why don't I just um, have the water pressure thingy centralized too? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I feel like I'm playing like Skyblock or something. I wish you could play I wish it was easier to place closer than what it is for these blocks, you know what? You know what? Whatever. <laughs> so if we have this here like roughly like Right there, like right there probably is where we're going to want the pressure chamber to go. So we'll go ahead and just put that there. Or actually, probably right there. Since the pipes come from that way, it makes more sense to have it just a little closer. It doesn't have to stay there, but we're going to probably want some uh, some blocks to get over to this. Probably doing this the most like ass backwards way possible, but what else is new? Sometimes that's just how the brain, sometimes that's how my brain works. It like just works backwards. <laughs> And like, okay, this is what I want. Let's start from the let's start from the end and go back to the beginning. Fucking autistic. <laughs> uh, in the mean, in that case, let's get some. We need more blocks if we're gonna make that usable. Like, brain is wired upside down and backwards. Twenty should be enough to get the bare bones done. We're not we're not going for like high high end aesthetics right now. We're just trying to make sure we can get to the where we need to go and do what we need to do. Actually, that works out pretty well with where the, um, let's just move this out of the way real quick. That works out pretty well with where the bridge is, because we can cross the bridge and then kind of just hop up over here, check this out, and all that fun shit. Uh, so that means our pipe there, well, we can, we can start disassembling our, uh, Jenga tower of pipes over here. While that's happening, it looks like one of our thingamajigs over here broke. Let's see. Surprisingly, it's not the one at the front. It's this one. So, let's grab some. Let's grab, we need to grab one that has, like, three left. Which, <laughs> we're starting to run out of these, so we'll have to buy some more, which isn't, it, it's not the end of the world. What, what do I... I just got a bunch of junk over here. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, get that back going. Alright, we do need an elbow for this. Except I'm not in the right spot. Ha 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 ha. Isn't that funny? 
Jesus Christ. Well, what we can do about that is um, just use some pipes and fake the funk a little bit. So quirky, you woo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Less, less me being quirky, more be me being a dumbass and not being able to make a straight line. There we go. Now it doesn't matter because I used pipes to get it to where it needs to go. Okay, so now, now that will all be hooked up that way. So we're going to use, take this one. And we're going to split it off with the T-pipe so that we can get the water to all the other little fun machines. And we'll use another T-pipe to split that off. I think those are lined up properly. I think. <laughs> uh, so let's start grabbing more of these, f the, f the free floaters here and building them up. Okay, that just needs an elbow and then that will be good. Funny enough, I, I almost used all of these floating pipes on this situation here. That's pretty good. Pretty good use of uh, pipes there. Okay. And then we'll do this. So this is kind of what I had in my head, but I didn't foresee that um, this would happen. Because I didn't really... I didn't. I labbed out this side, but not this side. I didn't take account. There's just a big old dip there, so we're only gonna be able to have 12 in this hole, and that hole will have actually more because we'll be able to squeeze in the two more sets, and then that'll be good. And we need to get some more straight pipes and get them down here. Do I have any other straight pipes? Not over here, at least. And these are all T's. Those are brick blocks. <laughs> bro, 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 they're blocks. <laughs> okay. Just for the sake of safety's not really safety, but just like convenience's sake, we're gonna kind of make it easier to get over here. <clears throat> Basically trying to dummy proof the, this whole situation here so that dummies don't fall in the hole accidentally. Although dummies are gonna fall are gonna fall in anyway. Also an attempt to make sure I don't um drop a shard bar just down into the abyss. <laughs> Granted I can just get it go down and pick it up, but it's just annoying. So, the pipes still work that way as well. So now, we gotta work on getting this water connected. Which means we're gonna need more straight pipes for that. <clears throat> A lot more straight pipes, actually. <laughs> Almost fell in. I should have some, like, kind of lingering, lingering over here somewhere. Yeah, there's a stack of them right here. It's not, probably not going to be enough, but it's a start. <clears throat> hmm. 
And again, knowing my luck, by the time I get um all this all this done and up and going, I'd have enough cloudium to like make a first like because. I'd make me out of enough cloud to make the first like tier two drill, and then this place becomes obsolete. But you know what? It's fine. We're 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 just vibing. We're having a good time playing the video game, <laughs> for the most part. Uh, I think my other carts in here. I was like, I thought I had three carts here, and honestly, I probably need more. So let's get this pickaxe crafter out of here and put it somewhere. Right here. Uh, let's just test it out. I don't know how to really. Three hundred iron to make an iron pickaxe. Well, we can definitely do that. Okay, let's get our cart out so we can go buy some uh, straight pipes. Um, hopefully I didn't leave my money. I mean, if I did, it's not the end of the world. Who cares? But, like, well, I guess, mm, I was going to say while we're at it, we can place these down, but we have to also place the dirt down to underneath every single one of them, so that's going to be annoying. Um, I might have left my money there. I have some money over here anyway because, yeah, I have some. Money. I think I have some money in here too. Yeah, I have some money in here too if I need it. But what I'm thinking about, let's at least buy another one of these. Okay, carts, come with me. We need to buy. It. Come with me, cart. We're we're gonna go. We're gonna go pick up some straights. <laughs> we're gonna corrupt the straights. Few elbows too, because we're. I don't. Oh, the cart's not thrilled with that, but yeah, whatever. Well, let's take a gander in here. Now we're gonna empty this all these out because I mean it's not like it's gonna do me any good keeping them in the truck forever I can't really ramp the truck up in in anywhere because there's just too much shit in the way so we'll just offload all these <laughs> it's, it's it seems a little silly having so many of them when you when you see them like this because they all have they all have collision out in the world like this so it's a little this is a big pile of drills. Alright, well, turns out I didn't leave my money behind and didn't leave the iron either. So let's go ahead and... Um, how do I... Do this? Is there like a button somewhere? Does it need to be warm iron? It might need to be warm iron. Let's try that. I've never played with this. Uh, I've never played with the uh, this pickaxes mod that lets you upgrade it pickaxes. So I don't know how it really works. So we're gonna heat this iron up. Uh, 
That does sound like a reason not to use a computer is if it's like hidden behind something or just kind of like in the, a bad spot. Um, is there like some sort of button I press? Hmm. Do I combine them together? Like, do I just like... <laughs> just... Hmm. You underestimate my brain. Hmm. I'm not sure how this thing is supposed to work, so we might, I might fiddle with it later. Don't see it doesn't exist. Yep, I mean Sounds like a brain sounds like a brain to me. Hmm. Not quite sure how this is does, please tell me it doesn't have to be exactly 300 iron. It might have to be exactly 300 iron. I really wouldn't really be that surprised. Hmm, I don't know. I'll look into it later. I'll just figure I'd set it up and try, but whatever. Anyway, back to the task at hand, which is getting all this hooked up over here. Silly cart, that's not what you're supposed to do. I got a feeling I might need to buy more straight pipes, honestly, at this point. Okay, that is the right spot, though, so let's... Right spot. So we'll grab this and just run this poor water all the way, all the way over here. And I probably need more straight pipes. I do. I have some more over here that we'll try to use those up first. Yeah, we're gonna need more street pipes. Probably at least like another ten. Yeah, we'll, we'll go buy another ten. Probably twelve just to be safe and. If that's a little extra, then I'm sure I could use it somewhere around there. Actually, yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna need to um, hook up conveyor belts anyway, so I'll need more anyway. So. Okay, so let's let's 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We'll buy sixteen. Uh, that's that money's still good. We could buy like a lot more pipes than that and still be fine on money. All right. Oh, I meant to grab the pipe, not the cart. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Mob, as you probably could have just had another intake pipe right here and save yourself a lot of hassle. And you're right, but I don't want to do that, so we're not doing that. <laughs> I wanted to make a big fuck off pipe system. <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> and I still might not have enough straight pipes. <laughs> Because I might have underestimated how many I needed. I mean, we are getting pretty close. Efficiency be damned, or that pipe, that bean can work a pipe. Okay, now I need an elbow. And then I should need one more straight and please tell me that's the last one too. Okay, no, that's not quite the last one, but But I'm definitely glad that I bought okay, so this system all now has actual water running through it instead of just kind of existing in the void in the the thin air. Okay. We almost ran out of pipes trying to get that set up. So now we're gonna need to figure out how many fucking pipes we need for this. Cause we're we're gonna need some pipes for that. We're also gonna need conveyors, and we might ha might not have enough of those. Uh, we're gonna need to go buy more straight pipes, actually. We'll buy another like ten, probably twelve, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, twelve. there I should probably just take this cart down to the freaking hole. Yeah, we'll just take it down here. That. How'd you. Okay. <laughs> You're being honorary, Mr. Cart. There you go. The cart is very allergic to this hole, it seems. Now 
Now we need some uh, some elbows. What we can do though is make a, a sneaky little pipe ladder now. Try to get out <laughs> to get out of here. <laughs> I meant that we probably could have done that with like these blocks or something, but why why use blocks when you can use pipes? <laughs> All right, so let's grab some. These two elbows, we'll just kind of drop them in the hole. Just get down there. Think about what you've done. <laughs> okay, that's a good piece of location, but then I don't have room for the Wii no more. Eh, it's emulated instead. Back in the box, console of the past. <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a bit of a nut job, so that's why I have the stuff to hook up my GameCube to uh, my uh, capture card. Completely unnecessary, considering well, you can just emulate GameCube at this point pretty easily. Like the emulation options are pretty solid for it. Let's get the cart out of the hole now. Uh, let's. Let's do that to get it in, in, in a little easier. It, it's not perfect, but it'll do. I'm also gonna need more, uh, not only more pipes, but I'm gonna need more conveyor belts for this whole scheme. Let's get a pipe and figure out where this pipeline's gonna end up actually going. Uh, let's see. Roughly this way, like roughly this pos that, this position is where it's gonna need to be, so we need to um, plan accordingly. I also need to see how many, <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many conveyor belts I have to utilize? Looks like that answer is like one. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. Still have no idea how this works. I'll figure it out later. One. I'm guessing we need at least like five uh, conveyor belts f for the some five upper conveyor belts and then just like a bunch others. So we're gonna go to Bridgeport and deal with that. I just realized that I have these drills in the way, so I'm gonna have to <clears throat> apparently get stuck on the fucking light post. Uh, well, let's go around this way. I can show you this little town since. I haven't yet. It's hard to get in here with your truck. Yeah, this is um I don't even I can't even remember what this town's called, but <clears throat> it's got a stock market for fish if that's your prerogative. Um now they sell some stuff here, like they sell fish this fishing crap. Uh they sell some things that the bridge they sell some things that the ember cradle store doesn't sell but like 
You're better off just going to, um... What you call it? You're better off just going to Bridgeport, because that shop has even more stuff than this one. This one does have the water filter hooks, though, if you want to buy them here. and it sells these, but there's a closer shop that sells those anyway, so it's like, hmm. Let's see, anything else around here? No, I think the other stuff is in... Yeah. It's like a little fishing area. Don't know if that does anything. Probably not. This is where you upgrade your fishing pole. Don't know what that does, other than just look different. But, but yeah, it, it's requesting a shrimp. It looks like so you would try to you would catch a shrimp from fishing and then put it in there and then it would give you the next upgraded fishing pole or something. Anyway, <clears throat> uh. Anyway, yeah, we're we're not here for that. We're here to to drive through the river. <laughs> At least try to. I don't come over to this part of the map very often on purpose. <clears throat> this is probably gonna end up with me getting very stuck somewhere. <laughs> like on the side of the hill. Uh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> it could have went a lot worse. This is where we'd get back up anyway, so. <laughs> the moral of the story is don't leave your drills in the middle of the road so you can use the road. Like a normal person. Uh, let's see. What was it even? Oh, conveyor belt. I was like, what the fuck is he even buying? Brain just not turned on ever. Sorry, brain not installed. Check. <laughs> br ice, br ice cream machine broken. Come back later. Alright. Could barely squeeze in there. Let's grab our like 290 grand and just. Drop it in there. Uh, we're gonna need like five of these. That means probably six. Is probably a good one. Better thing to aim for. So we'll buy these six first, and then we'll start. We'll just. Put them in the. We'll put them in the. We'll put them in the car. Okay, and then we find some straight ones. We do need a right turn, so we'll buy that. I think we've got six six uppers, six straights, and a right turn. <clears throat> I figured that wouldn't work, but I was just like, hmm. My little my little lizard brain was like, hmm. Can I steal? like reminds me of like playing Fable back in the day and just putting a bucket over the shopkeeper's head and then stealing everything from his store. <laughs> what a tragically unfinished game. Oh, Peter Molyneux, you never do it what anything that you say you're gonna do. He's like, I'm gonna create the greatest game ever, and then just like, sh farts out like 60% of a game. <laughs> Alright, 
that's that might that's probably too many conveyors but we'll find out I guess when we get back home let's don't let's not let's not forget our money Something must be might be going on with like the um, the collision, because game looks and feels a little choppier than it normally does to me. I don't know what the hell's going on with it, but I have a feeling there's like weird collision stuff going on in the truck. <clears throat> I, I will say though that those drills do make a nice doorstop. Alright. Yeah, that's where that first one's gonna be going, and then we're gonna start just. getting, getting them out of here. <clears throat> Okay, looks like that one's broken. Let's see how broken are you? 22, 45, 7, and 69. Nice. Um, so we'll use up 4. Yeah, I knew, I knew that was getting pretty close to being barked. All right, sweet. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go and pre preemptively sleep. <clears throat> it's so dark. It's so damn dark. Okay, um. Those will all be straights, but I'm gonna say right there is probably where we need to start getting the conveyor belts to come upwards. We're probably gonna need more elbows, probably. Elbows are the easiest way to get these these vertical conveyors to play nice. And do I have any wayward el Do I have any wayward elbows? I have one here. Okay, put that one there because it's gonna be needed. <clears throat> I got a few here as well.
Okay. Don't think there's any elbows in here. Doesn't look like it now. Um. Let's see if there's any other ones lying around somewhere. Because I tend to just kind of leave piles of stuff everywhere in this game. Because you don't really have much of a choice. But. Oh, we haven't we haven't played we haven't done the thing with the gems in a while. Oh my goodness, there's probably gonna be a lot. Oh yeah, that's a big old onyx. How how pricey are you? Sixteen grand on your own? Nice. Okay. Well, in you go. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that stuff is just merrily chugging away while I've been fucking around with this, so. We're not wasting any time by just doing this nonsense. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know one of these carts is empty now. I have a feeling the game's not a, f not a fan of all these drills just kind of sitting out. Plus all these pipes and just everything. Oh, it just feels a little more sluggish than uh, it was previously. Oh, shit, come on. Get in the cart! Why y'all being difficult? Huh? Why y'all being difficult? Whatever. This thing turns like molasses, but that's okay. Easy thing, easiest thing to do is um, try to get it to where you don't have to turn. You just did something unbelievable? What did you do? What did you do, Nakora? Oh, fuck, you sorted your box of wires? I mean, that's probably good practice. <laughs> Even if it feels weird, it's probably a good idea. Let's see. I feel like this needs to be up, but just another one higher. So we might have to go buy another uh, vertical convey conveyor, maybe. <clears throat> We're also going to need more straight pipes, too, to get this behemoth across the freaking little lake here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start putting in more of these conveyor belts from across the way. If I'm very cautious, if I'm very careful, I can place these, uh, place them on top of the cart like that and then transport them that way. 
I, mean, I got a feeling that those drills just kind of sit in the pile there making collision things happen that the game doesn't like. So I think that's why it's looking a little, a little chugger, a bit of a chugger right now. All right, let's start putting these in though. Okay. 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 Okay, and yep. Um, I'm gonna take this pipe, and we're gonna take go across the the river with it to see. Where exactly I want it to go, because it need it needs to go like this way, and I got a feeling that I need to go up. Just I need I have a feeling I need to go up one more than what I already have planned here. So yeah, let's uh, make that go up one more. Which means I need two more elbows and two more things. Because the dirt from this needs to drop into that harvester as well. So that I can get turned into stuff. Now it probably would be much smarter to have another harvester. But we're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> If it really comes to it, I will make another harvester, but I don't think we're gonna need it. But yeah, we need two more elbows. And two more of these. So let's first, let's buy the two elbows and probably just a bunch of straight pipes to go with it. Get in the cart, damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a straight. We will need that. Oh, well, guess we're buying another elbow. I might actually need it, so. We'll call that good, and if it's not good, then we'll just buy more later. Elbow in place. Let's get this one in place as well. All of this stuff I'm doing now with these pipes reminds me of just like playing like mod in Minecraft, doing like stuff with all the tech mods and like running cables like behind walls and shed and under floors. And at some point in uh, SevTech, we're gonna well, the next thing we're doing in SevTech is we got to the moon at the very end of Saturday's uh, stream. We 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 got no, we made the rocket and we got to the moon, but we don't have any infrastructure there. So we need to start setting up a moon base, so that we can explore the moon safely. Now what I could do, he thought it said wines. I sorted my box of wines. <laughs> Nakura is a wine connoisseur. Better them than me, cause I'm not. I don't like wine very much. 
I might have just had really bad ones though, so. How very French. Ha <laughs> ha, wee wee. Baguette, baguette, wine, wine. <laughs> Cigarette. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I might go up even another another um, layer. So we're gonna probably move all these pipes, but I might go even even one higher so I can um, drop the stuff off on, from this layer off down another level, and then have a a um, power thing do the conveyors from here to keep them nice and fast. Because with all these pipes, that water pressure is going to be begging for mercy. <laughs> like, it'll start, like, at whatever water pressure this is. I don't know if there's any way we can tell the water pressure with, like, a hand tool. I think there's, like, a, a little gauge you can see put on something that shows the water pressure. But other than that, um, basically, this this chamber restores the water pressure to the to input source, which is that guy there but then as it goes down through all of this mess it's, it loses pressure like it'll go down like three percent less and there and then all the way down through there and then it's gonna start getting real fucking slow I can imagine so I'm thinking well sleep because it, it just gets too dark too damn fast I've, I've tried to find a mod that, that adjusts the sleep thing to where like you wake up when it's bright out but I've not been able to find anything mostly because other people probably just play in creative mode where they can stop time anyway but I'm stubborn and don't want to do that um Just trying to think of what I'm gonna do with the pipes, cause hmm. Now what I could do is put another pressure thing, like right here and have pipes feeding in there like yeah I think that's my solution is to re-up the water pressure at that point also give me another pipe I can use here yeah like have a pressure chamber right there and have little elbows kind of going off that way that's what we're gonna do it's not exactly an elegant solution, but who fucking cares? I don't exactly right now. We'll get, that'll give us a, an excuse to use a cork there. <laughs> Which I think I have just like corks laying around somewhere that have been just sitting there for a while. I thought I did anyway. Do I got any corks? What I'm also gonna do is move the damn drills out of the way so I can drive. <laughs> oh, there we go. I, that's where the corks were. The, the real corks were the friends we made along along a wrong along the way. All right. So basically, the water will come down and from here and flow this, and then that line of water will stop because the cork plugs that hole up and then we're gonna have a pressure gauge there need to go and grab one of these t pressure tanks here mm. I see what I got I see what I gotta do instead actually I just I just, I just had a a big brain moment of oh wait if I do things a certain way if I, if I don't do things a certain way we're just gonna like I don't know not have water pressure 
So the cork's probably not gonna be necessary now that I'm thinking about. I'll just kind of stick it in here so I don't stumble over it or something. Because you need to move. You'll just kind of go right there for now. This pipe needs to turn. And then we need an elbow there. Or I could just turn this guy like this. Well, I need to probably flip it around a little bit to make it a little more user friendly. I say as I, I continually fuck it up because these things are a little hard to work with. There we go. That's probably probably for the best. That one could go there, but the real question is, can I put a pipe here? No. Can I put a pipe here? Like we're, we're working with real, like, dire... We're, like, real dire straits on... <laughs> the freaking places we can put things. Now, what we could do... Jesus Christ. Um, how did how the how did he get that way? You know what? Whatever, just go. Um, Cause once the water starts getting up there, it's gonna start slowing these conveyor belts down significantly. I think I don't know if conveyor belts slow down as the water pressure goes down or if they if they're all powered by the same uh, pressure as the first one I don't know that so I'm assuming that they're gonna get slower as we get further along but then I got I don't know hmm It's not as not as nearly as clean as I was wanting, but I think I do have a solution to our problem once I get the pipe in the right space. Cause there we go. That one's where I want it to go. Cause we could grab and we do an elbow there, a T pipe there, and then like just this pipe can go here, and we'll plug this one up with the cork. Again, none of this is necessary. This is working just fine without any problems. And it would just be a waiting game of getting enough stuff to make the uh, tier 2 stuff and going somewhere else. This is basically just a fill time. <laughs> Not like to waste time, but just like to have something to do with the time that we have otherwise. Oh, come on, fine. I'll hop in, I'll, I'll hop in the damn hole. <laughs> there we go. That's what I need there. And I need an elbow for that. No, before that, though, let's get this... Uh, I don't really like that. <sighs> don't like that either because there's that chunk of dirt just like clipping into the thing. It may sound silly, but I care about that kind of stuff some, a lot of the times. Uh, we could just... This hole is... Now I know why I never bothered with this hole over here. It's it's 
kind of weird and clippy and gross. Just go there. Just, huh? just go there. Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever. Just, just got a floating cork. No big deal. Um. Uh, what am I? What are we gonna do? could do, which I might actually do now I'm thinking about it, is have two conveyor belts like here. Does this even connect up? No, it, do it doesn't, but huh? just move this fucking thing out of the way real quick. Yeah, like have this go up like, well, this one's going to need to be a, uh, the T pipe. It's gonna use a few of these, a few extra of these conveyors. But I could care less, really. And essentially, the, the the water pressure from this side is going to power these conveyors and these ones here, and then this stuff will get dropped off, and the conveyors on this part of the um, on this plane will be at full power. So they'll go pretty fast. That's kind of what I was thinking. Let's see. Yeah, I need to have these go up one more. So I need like, I need more elbow pipes. I, I probably need more elbow pipes anyway. Yeah, I need, I, I need some more anyhow. So let's go buy like another like six. And look, truth be told, I this this I'm planning all this on the fly. I, I, I didn't sit spend any time sitting down like writing schematics or anything. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of going as I tend to do with everything. I'm just kind of going going flying by the seat of my pants. I don't have time to plan things. What do you out of your mind? I barely have time to I barely have time and brain power to plan what game I'm playing, <laughs> let alone how I'm playing the game. <clears throat> oh. Alright. Enjoy enjoy whatever that is. <laughs> Don't know why the cart decided to just do a freaking handstand. Huh? I figure I'll just buy some of these while I'm over here anyway. Once again, 
let's sleep because it's just the time just go seems to disappear. Also, I need to change that option for uh, toggle run because like I would rather have it happen while I'm while I'm pressing it since it doesn't seem to like work as a true toggle anyway. Like I don't know. So that's res so it's gonna be. Let's move these on over. Twenty-two, forty-four, sixty-seven, fifty-eight. We'll repair the first three. I'll just keep. I'll keep this stuff going for quite a while. Now, I know there's like some way to set up a uh, uh, logic kind of stuff that lets it to where it reads the durability of your thingies and when one of them reaches zero, it like repairs it with like a, a tool bag or something, but I don't know. I'll have to look into that separately because, yeah. Anyway, let's get these elbows in place because... Now this is now this is what we'll be using our little uh, little friend the um, cork here. I don't know if it matters how the cork is oriented, but nah, whatever. So. so basically, how that's gonna work is. Um, Hmm. I might need to use a fourth one, actually. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to buy some, like, more conveyors to get this whole, to get my idea to work, because I need to be able to, like, put stuff in here, but with this conveyor like that, it's not very easy to do that but I did buy these extra elbows because I, I I knew I was gonna be doing some shenanigans and probably needed the extra ones okay now we need another one of you need this guy's try to escape this fucking prison of my own creation. Well, I don't like that, but you know what? Sacrifices must be made sometimes. At least most of it looks like it's full of dirt. <laughs> Whatever. I can, I can easily access that. Seems I'm probably going to want to have like a ladder system or something for this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just... I tend to think we could just climb up the freaking uh, conveyor belt. once we get the conveyor belts put back in, but you know, whatever. Since we gotta go, we gotta go to Bridgeport anyway to, um, we gotta go to Bridgeport anyway to get the, the more of these so we can buy some, some stairs while we're there to make this a little less ugly of a situation. For now, I'm just putting the blocks down there so I can uh, climb them. 
Oh, we're out of blocks. Great. I love that. Um, let's see. So. Uh, I need to grab one of my empty carts. And grab all the straight conveyor belts out of the truck. Including you. I expect you to die, Mr. Conveyor. a little closer. <laughs> oh, I forgot how many I bought. I bought a, f a lot of these conveyors. Collision things are happening and the game is not happy. <laughs> God, I felt the lag enter my soul. <laughs> y yeah, that's... Alright, well, let let's put these down anyway. Just, just for the sake of them being down. Because, yeah, the stuff's going to come off the conveyor and land on these conveyors. Okay, and then one, two, three. We need like three more, like five more of these upper ones. Yeah, because let's see, we can just count these tops. One, one, two, three, four, five. Look at all these tops. All these tops and no bottoms. Well, I guess there are technically bottoms, but <laughs> anyway. Um... Let's start putting these ones in too. Oh, that's the corner one. We're gonna need that one placed very specifically. If I can, I can't. I can't escape. <laughs> I think I literally trapped myself. Well, that's why we have the unstuck button, if we get stuck inside of a conveyor belt somehow. Life is pain! <laughs> Alright, let's... Okay, yeah, that one goes there. And then... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go... Oh! Nope, well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, so let's just, just drop like eight of these in the hole down here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I can't count. <laughs> Six. Seven and eight. Now we can put them in a little bit more easily since I'm down here now. Come on. Numbers of Mob, it's episode two. Conclusion, I don't know what numbers are. <laughs> what are numbers? Just a miserable little pile of secrets. OK, 
Okay, so. So in total, this setup needs two shard bars, which is not a problem. Shard, we've got, I can't imagine how much shard stuff we have in this thing by now, because. Actually, we don't need to imagine. Let's find out how heavy this shard bar is. For a shard bar, that's very heavy. Holy crap. Uh, we'll just, um... We'll take these over here, but we're not going to do anything with them. Hello, Animals1597. How are you doing today? I hope you are well. I am struggling <laughs> because I just am. <laughs> I'm struggling to keep it together. <laughs> I can feel my sanity slipping as I fight with this setup I'm trying to do in this godforsaken hole. <laughs> uh, yes, welcome. I hope you're doing good today. I hope you're. I, I hope you're just chill and relaxing, and I'm hoping that my tomfoolery and/or stupid dumbass shit will help. Your day be a little better. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, so we need one, two, three, four, five. Um, I, I have bought the bigger land, but I'm I'm grinding up to get tier two machines. Because you need you need a decent you need a good amount of cloudium to make the uh the harv the uh I have I have a harvester made, but you need a uh good amount of cloudium to make the um the the tier two drills. So what I'm, I, I already have this set up, and there's actually going to be a few more drills getting down in here after I get this mess, that mess figured out. But yeah, we got those drills, conveyor belt with all the little dirt friends here. What? And then I got a little, a little set up there, and they all fall into little pots here, and then the gems all fall into here. So this setup works great, but I wasn't like, hmm, what if I, well, at the, at the end of last stream, I nuked this whole stuff out because I couldn't be bothered digging any of it out. I was like, you know what, let's just use nukes. I got money. So I did. <laughs> As you do, you just grab, just grab some nukes. It's like, a, it's like I'm freaking the United States of America in World War II. Let's just grab some nukes, test them out. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, animals. Animals underscore fifteen ninety seven has joined the Bean Army. Thank you so much. Appreciate ya. Um, yeah, we're. <laughs> I, I need like five more of these conveyors and another right conveyor and probably some more of these straight ones too. But uh, do I have an empty cart? No, that one's full conveyors. Shit. Um, oh, time to dump these elbows on the ground. Okay, there was like two elbows. <laughs> yeah, once we do get a once we do get a decent amount of cloutium to get at least like a few uh, tier two drills, we'll be going to South Hope and starting to work on that. But I want to get this whole deal here at the Ember Cradle set up. Then I might even look into trying to do the uh, auto repair stuff with Logic if I can figure it out. But I have my doubts that I'll be able to do that. Uh, I think we have enough uh, elbows. So let's buy some more straight irons. Oh, I'm, stu I'm stuck in the cart. Okay. And then we'll just uh, snatch up some of these. <laughs> uh, the eternal mood just like... Trying to do something, it's not working, you're just like, eh? <laughs> Me too, bitch. Me too. Alright. Let's just hop our happy asses back over here with all these straight pipes I just bought on like a whim. I, I know I need them. Hydrate, thank you. Well, I have some coffee I'm going to finish here real quick. But I also have an Arizona I'm going to open for hydrating. I know it's not water, but, you know. Water is just a suggestion sometimes. All right, coffee's done. 
ASMR with Mobbis, you're welcome. <laughs> ah. Fruit Punch Arizona. Delicious. Alright, it's already getting fucking dark again. Hydrate, I will drink again. Ah. I mean, I am a plant, <laughs> so hydrating is usually in my best interest. Hmm, I might need to put a cooldown on that. Because <laughs> I, think, I think drinking three gulps of drink in a row is probably enough. <laughs> Mostly because I'm going to also drink uh, some of this Arizona with my lunch later after stream. Um, let's see. Well. Let's see. Uh, more pipes. More pipes. More pipes. More pipes. So basically what I'm doing over here, I don't know if I fully explained it, is we got, we're going to have drills there and some there. They're going to make their dirt. And it's going to go conveyor belt up here. It's going to drop down to this conveyor belt. This conveyor belt's going to go up and it's going to drink it all the way over here. <laughs> and drop it into this harvester. Speaking of which, I think I need another cork somewhere. I, I know there, there they are. There's a cork. And here's all our drills. I made a bunch of them earlier at the beginning of the stream. We got like 16 of them. Complete, completely overkill. Considering that we're probably, um, like, once it's set up, we're gonna, I'll probably forget about it after we move to the next place. Oh, uh, you, you go to, oh, oh, I'm sure, I don't know how much you've played in this game, but I'll, I'll explain. Like, near the beginning of the game, you start here, you know, I'm sure you, you, you might know that. You start in this place, the Ember Cradle, and once you get up good enough, you buy these, one of each of these machines, <clears throat> and you can only buy one of them, and it says craftable an ice helm, and that's exactly where I got my drills from. Each, each of these drills costs 300 iron, and you buy the little uh, masterwork drill uh, design, you put it on like the little pedestal, you put some iron in the little crucible, and you pull the lever, like, like crunk, and it'll make you a drill. Um, let's see how much Cloudium we have, because if I have enough Cloudium now, we might be able to actually go make a Tier 2 drill. Uh, I think we actually, mmm, I can't remember if that's enough Cloudium or not. It might be, so we can just, we can just take a trip over there anyway. Not gonna really hurt my feelings none, because still got like, uh, 42 minutes or so I can do stream for. So we'll, we'll go. We'll go pay a visit. Ice them. I'll give it. I'll show you what, what we're what we're dealing with. Just gotta figure out where I put my iron. It's dark. <laughs> it's so dark. I think the the iron sh might be in my truck still. I can't remember if I took it out or not because we had leftovers. Excuse me. Uh, maybe I did. I, hmm. I might have also just thrown it back in the, uh, the, the furnace here somewhere. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh no, I, put, I was trying to figure out how to craft this pickaxe. Because this is a mod that lets you make better pickaxes. I was trying to figure that out, but I've so far not been successful. So here's our iron. Let's see, how much do I have left over? Uh, 7,500 it looks like. But still, that should be more than enough to make the t a tier 2 drill if we have enough Cloutium, that is. So we'll just take that. Let's check our water tank. It's probably still fine. Okay, cool, whatever. Alright. Oh, I still have a drill in the middle of the road. You know what? It's fine. We'll just do like a three-point turn or whatever. And let's get going. <clears throat> and I'll show you. I'm not sure if you've been to Ice Helm before. So I'll just go. I'll go the... The intended way to ice helm. Okay, cross this little bridge. Uh, 
Go down here, get a little bit of air time, maybe. Um, go this way. Go this way. Uh, sure, what's up? No, knowing's out the battle. Go, Joe. Uh, right. Let's. I have a cart here at ISOM because it makes it easier to kind of just do stuff. To have a cart here as opposed to dragging it all down one at a time. But yeah, this this uh, place up in the mountains is Icehelm. It's like a big like dwarven city kind of thing. Don't really know the lore behind this game. I just know it's. Yeah. Uh, we don't need coins. At least I don't think we need coins. I think we have the tier 2 drill uh, schematic already bought. Right. Come on, there we go. And we'll just, we'll just jump down the elevator shaft with the cart. No big deal. And uh, just jump over here. Yeah, this is where you make your drills. And your uh, harvesters and all that. Okay, that's the okay. This is that. Those were the numbers I was thinking. These uh, fall damage. What's that? There's no fall damage in this game. You can't die. You're immortal, basically. <laughs> You're essentially immortal in this game. Like you can, you can, you can jump in the lava down here and not die. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> you can just bounce around all day if you really want to. Yeah. Oh, this is all. This is the Ice Helm dig you can purchase as well. I don't really think I will, but this is where that is. The good thing about the Ice Helm dig is that there's like a shop like right up there. So if you need stuff, it's really close by. Yep. And you go up here, and then we'll be back. We'll be back up. <laughs> Yep, there's no fall damage, so you can jump from the highest mountain with no repercussions. Alright, so, we're going to be wanting to make a tier 2 uh, drill, which is this one. It has a thousand there and 300 here. That 300 is Cloudium, which I think we have enough Cloudium for that. I have this scale here that's not actually placed down, it's just kind of sat down very carefully. That shows us... That we can hover something over and shows us how much we have. We do have enough cloudium. Well, we definitely have enough iron. So let's go ahead and set our bar there real quick. Now to craft things, you have this pedestal here. You have to buy these little model things from the store. Because the store is like over yon yonder, like in there. I'll show it to you after we craft this drill. Okay, so cloudium drill. Put that there. Then I'll set the recipe that's gonna use, and now you take your materials. We got Cloutium, and we'll pop it in there. And then we'll grab our iron. And we'll pop it in there. And pull the lever cronk! And there's our there is our tier two drill. Uh, I'd be careful with this grate because you can fall through it. I've I've done I've un unfortunately fell through it a few times. Granted, no fall damage, no burn damage, so it's just kind of an inconvenience. But yeah, we got our tier two drill. Let's put it on this little thing. It'll take it up top. I probably didn't park my truck in the right place, but that's okay. And that goes up top to there's like a little funnel thing that drops it off. And after you craft stuff, your change is deposited here. And so we'll just put that back in the cart. Just logic. Yeah, it's just logic, you know? Just just put it in there, just goes, poof! And you're trying to walk over to Great and you'll slip through completely, maybe. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> you fall right down. I mean that's that's good that's kind of I guess a quick way to get down here, I guess, but it's not exactly how you would expect that to work. <laughs> 
Yeah, this game is made by a very small team of people, so I, I don't really have a problem with there being weird stuff like that because they can fix it. And actually, there's a mod in the workshop that does fix the grate, so I mean, they could probably just incorporate that into the base game. And yeah, this is the shop I was talking about where you buy the, uh, the drill uh, thingies. Here's all of our little uh, drill designs. There's also these intake booster designs that boost the water pressure of your intake pipes that make your system overall run more effectively. Highly recommend getting these as soon as you, after you get like some drills made because that'll just boost the speed of everything else too. But yeah, these little designs are how you craft more things. This shop also just has basically whatever you would need anyway. Uh, it's also got useful stuff like this place also sells conveyors. It sells these smelters, which are nice. Uh, let's see, it's got wooden stairs. Good, sh good shop. And if you do the dig here at Ice Helm, it's like really close, so it's not that it's not that bad. But it's just the fact that you'd have to like leave really far to go sell stuff. Eh, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You kind of do your dig wherever you want to. It's a single player game. And if somebody like laughs at you and like says you're like wasting time or something, like one, it's a video game. It's always gonna be a waste of time. So who fucking cares? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so now we're gonna take our little cart. I like having a cart here. I do have a Discord. It, I, it's mostly just good for go live notifications at this point. But hey, that's a use. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, let's roll up here. I like having a cart here so that I can easily transport stuff around. That way I can carry more than one, especially when you're crafting like these tier two drills that need more than one material. It makes it a lot easier to just get stuff done having a cart at Ice Helm. Cause you can just kind of leave it here and it'll, it won't despawn or anything. Like I usually just kind of leave it out in the, in the, like the yard over here. All right, and yeah, if you, as you as you'll see, oh, I, I must have forgotten a drill. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess I didn't count very well because I left a drill here. <laughs> yeah, here's the clautium drill that we made, and that's one of the other drills I made earlier that I kind of I guess didn't see. There was like a big mound of them, so I mean, whatever. Uh, let's grab our. Oh, thank you. Appreciate ya. It's a good it's a good way to see when I'm going live Because twitch is an awful way to know when someone's going live because I almost never get notifications of any kind from twitch saying Oh blah 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 went live It's almost always I see that on Twitter or something that they've gone live or I get a discord notification, so it's just kind of weird that <laughs> twitch is just so bad but it's the dominant platform, and for for better or for worse. All right, so our little cart's fine. We'll just leave it there, and we'll stop by the other dig that we're eventually going to be moving to. Art talk. Uh, I can't remember what that was. What that channel's for? Probably just to talk about art in general, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I made that. I made the Discord like a while ago. So some of the. Okay, that's. I don't think that's where we want to go. That's not South Hope. I think that's Drek. Not a big fan of Drek, but that's okay. Drek Quarry is another one of the quarries. It's pretty cheap to buy if you want to like immediately just move to a different quarry without doing much at Ember at the Ember Cradle. You can just earn twelve hundred bucks and then just move in there. But yeah, this is the 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 digger we're eventually going to be going to South Hope. It is massive, and it goes it goes all the way down as deep as the other ones as the other higher end places do the eye. This is a lot of space. Like all this dirt area here is all like you see that edge there and then there's like probably an edge over there or whatever. That's all just diggable. <laughs> it, it doesn't all go just straight down. It goes down at like an angle but like there's still just so much room here for not only like building on top like if you want to make like a little town or something but just like yeah, here's our tier, our Claudium Harvester. Because to, to process the dirt that comes from this, you need a tier two of each. So we're going to leave, be leaving our 
uh, Cloudium Drill here because no reason to bring it back home with us to the to Ember Cradle. It'll stay here and be fine. No one's gonna like steal our shit. <laughs> also, because there is nobody to steal our shit. But yeah, um, this is the pl this is probably the best. Uh, well, I would say I I can highly recommend this game not only because it's just a nice chill time, but like, well, one it's just a nice chill time. And you just lose hours just fiddling with this shit. I'm just trying to jump on this rock. I can't do it. But like, you kind of just do whatever you want with it. Like, if you want, if you want to just like, you start the game out like digging dirt and putting it in the bucket and like rinsing it that way. But if that's all you want to do, you can just do that. Like, you don't. There's no like objectives or really goals, per se. It's very open ended like that. You can do what you want to do with it. Like, if you want to like make just barely enough money and just build like a little town, there are like. Actually, I need to buy some, uh, and we'll actually stop by Dr Bridgeport and I'll talk about, I'll show you the shop where you buy, like, building stuff at. Like, you could just build, like, you could build, like, a little house, just for the sake of building a little house if you want. And also, in the next up, big update, they're gonna be adding farming, which is gonna add more, more vehicles, like, a whole new shop, like, over there somewhere. So, it's, uh, I think it's over there, actually, but there's gonna be adding, like, New vehicles, just... It's gonna be even more stuff to do that you can just do if you want. Oh, I also needed to get, um, conveyors. I can show you where that shop is. It's, like, right here. Should I have my money? Yeah, I have my money with me. Okay, so we need, like, five of these vertical ones. I know that for a fact. So we're just gonna grab those while we're here. I almost forgot that we. One of the reasons we actually were leaving was that we, not only to show you Ice Helm, but to buy. You need. We need more vertical conveyors to get our little scheme off the ground. Here. Uh, currently this game is only on PC. So if you're talking about Hydroneer in general, then it. Yeah, PC. In general, overall though, I mostly play on PC, just because mo most of the games I like playing are on PC these days. I do have a Switch, though, and there's going to be games coming out this next year that I'm going to be buying and playing on stream with Switch. I have a capture card, so that'll work. But, um, okay, we got those conveyors. I think we need another right uh, corner as well. Yeah. Okay. And I'll grab my money. We'll put that in the truck. And we can go to the uh, building store. Like, if you want to just build, like, a, if you just want to, like, spend a lot of money just on building stuff, there's, like, a little building store here. You can buy, like, wooden stuff. You can buy, like, these, like, window walls. And just, I think there's other walls you can probably buy, too. Probably. So, yep, yeah, right here. There's doors. There's, like, just... You can just build houses if that's what you really want to do. <laughs> there's, like, just... Want more windows? <laughs> what I'm gonna be buying though is these uh, wooden stairs because I like using those to get up and down out of places. Like, for example, that thing that we're building that we'll need to get down into to um, put the shard bar in to make sure that the water pressure is as high as. Oh, I need my money. <laughs> Usually you need money. There, there is a creative mode in this game too if you just want to play creative mode and not have to worry about anything. Like, not even having money I think there's even like there's like creative tools you can use to like duplicate items and like again you, it's just you can just do what you want and have a good time and the game's not really that expensive I think it's like 10 bucks so if you got 10 bucks burn, burning a hole in your pocket then I'd say it's a pretty good use of it Cause I and I've gotten at least like forty something hours out of my ten bucks, so that's a pretty good value. And I probably would get even more if I didn't want to like not burn myself out in this game. Cause good god, I can I get that way with games. Like I'll play it so much I'll get like sick of seeing it, and then I'll like not play it for like three years. 
Uh, I'll be honest, I don't really know exactly what bits do. I think they're just a way to pay... I think... I don't know if you can even cash them out for it. I don't know what they do. I, I'm a bad person to ask about bits, because I don't know what bits do. <laughs> Unfortunately. I've received some, but I don't know where to see how many I even have or what the deal is. It's all confusing to me. Bonk, bonk. All right, cool. Okay, so... Ah! As, as you, something else to explain is that when, you're, when you get your, your machines hooked up with water, because that's what powers everything in this game, uh, if you don't have these little filters, your machines that are use, you're using to like, dig all the stuff out take damage. And what these little what these little things are are water filters, so they filter the water so that they take damage instead of your machines. I was wondering if you could cash bits out. Let's see, we're gonna fix those two, and we'll see what the third one's durability is. Forty four. And we'll fix that one too. Thirty three and forty. Oh, we'll just fix all of it. What? Fuck it. Whatever. There we go. These little bags are pretty cheap too, and they just keep running forever. I'm gonna sleep. Cause it just gets dark, and then it's hard to see. It's hard for me to see, and I can't imagine it's much better for y'all, even though the gamma's a little higher. Okay, so we need to grab our. I'm just like running in circles right now. Hey, that's okay. I'll be here for a little bit longer, so I'll see you when you get back. I'll just put these pipes in place here. <clears throat> I think that's actually the perfect amount of pipes because I can use a, a little corner pipe, like an elbow for the conveyor. We got some right here. We'll go ahead and just pre-plug this up. gonna grab these out one at a time and just place them because whatever come on why is this gotta be so difficult place the damn conveyor belt please You know, just go over there for now. I'm gonna have to move this pipe, it seems, to get this where I want it to go, maybe. Or maybe it just doesn't want to go there in general. I don't fucking know. These, these, these placing stuff is probably one of my least favorite things in this game, because it can just be a chore to actually get it to where you want it to go. I don't know if there's, like, a good solution to that, either. Come on. Just get out of the way. Wonder if it's because this blocks in the way. Maybe that'll make it a little easier to place. 
Oh, I, I saw for a second exactly the orientation I needed. There we go. God, what a hassle. Those are living on borrowed time anyway because I'm going to be getting, I got some, uh, some wood stairs specifically to get in and out of this nonsense. Admittedly, the conveyor belt will make it really easy to get in and out of here once I get them all put in. Hopefully I didn't miscount how many conveyor belts I needed. Because I'll just have to like go buy more, which is annoying, but... Again, this would be another lesson of counting counting with Mobis, just not able to. <laughs> okay, so the conveyor belts are all there, the vertical ones at least. Including those, so now we need all my straight ones put in place. And I need to put the angled one I bought in place as well should go right there and now we need straight ones and once those are all put in place then we can start working on getting the drills in place and then getting them everything to work this is a, this is turned into a bigger project than I was expecting it to be. I didn't expect it to take this long to get everything put in place and working. But you know what? That's okay. This is kind of what I had envisioned in my head what what everything would look like. Oh, yeah. I, I sure do love that I don't have any more conveyor belts now. Uh, so we're going to have to go buy more of those. I mean, which is fine. I kind of expected to run out of those, honestly. Okay, let's, let's try to figure out how many I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 more straight conveyor belts. Well, while we're here, we're going to get rid of the, get this, the rest of our stuff out of the cart anyway. Not the money, we're gonna need that. Okay, we'll get this other drill out of the car too. Get this cork, put it somewhere I can see it in case I need it. <laughs> okay. Start putting in these um these thingamajigs. 
The guy with the face. I think that's the height that I need him at. I'm about to find out. Thank you for the hydrate. Welcome back. I'm still, I got I got all the conveyors placed down that we have and all the pipes put down. We just gotta buy, go buy like 22 more conveyor belts. So I'm just getting rid of, getting rid of all the stuff that I need to process or deal with until before then. Whee! I like these little uh, wooden uh, stairs for getting in and out of holes. You try the crew. That's a mis that's a mistake. <laughs> Did I already use up all of them? One, two, three, four. I should have had another one. Oh, why is it over here? See, that's why you shouldn't trust me, Nakora. I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> Trust shattered immediately. <laughs> anyway, let's we can get out in and out of that hole a lot easier now. Let's Hachiko is one of my good friends who is who has helped me through a lot a lot of hard times and has inspired me to keep doing what I do here on with streaming stuff. So I, I appreciate him very much and he's going he's going through a rough patch and he needs some help so I'm trying to help fundraise for him if possible I know money's like hard these days to deal to deal with so I understand people not being able to donate or help or anything but I can still try alright so we're gonna go buy 22 <laughs> Straight conveyor belts, and then that will finish off the conveyor belt section of this harebrained scheme. We'll just ramp down the, the wall into the river. We might have to. Oh no, we can still slink in there. Okay, so let's grab our money. Put it in there. We need 22 of these damn things. Is that still. Okay, it does count that way. Okay, in that case. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Hey, that's okay, animals. Thanks for stopping by and have fun. How dare you mouth on my day off? Well, unfortunately, I needed the math because I need to know how many conveyor. I, I have a precise amount of conveyors that I needed. Because I needed 22 to finish off this harebrained scheme of the dirt going, like, across the freaking river. <laughs> Just completely ridiculous. Like, 100% ridiculous. Do not need to do this, but I want to do this, so. Ooh, there we go. I got up there pretty easily. Bye. Alrighty. Ooh, we got bumped a little, that's okay. Kind of worked out in our favor. All right, so now we're gonna grab a cart and we're gonna load all these conveyor belts into this cart.
And the game is not going to be very happy when I move that cart, so we're going to like uh, move that cart as little as possible. Because if we grab this cart... Yeah, the game doesn't really like that very much. <laughs> it's dealing with some collision stuff, and it's just like, hmm, I don't know if I like that. I'm like, mm, you know what? Fair. Let's just uh, not have you do that. So we're going to just uh, pop these in everywhere that they need to be. Just floating in midair. No big deal, you know. That's just how it goes. Sometimes you just have to be a, a pipe floating in midair. Just stand in the river while you're placing conveyor belts. All right, it's the coll the collision issues are a lot a lot lesser now. I've got most of those out of the thing now. Alrighty. All right, all the conveyor belts are placed. Let's go. Let's go rest so we can see. And today, uh, me and my roommate are having leftovers for lunch because we made lunch yesterday and made like double portions so we could just have leftovers today. So I can go a little longer than I can go a little longer than normal because I can just take my lunch with me to work. So I can. Tasty leftovers. Yeah, they're pretty. The the the, the, the meal we, the meal over yesterday was like some like pasta with like uh like you know pasta sauce with like some like I think like um, Polish sausages or something like that or something and like chicken or something like that. That was pretty good. Not a bad meal. So we're gonna need a shard bar for you and you. Let's go ahead and get those put in place while I'm thinking about it. Doing it this way is a lot easier to get these bars where they need to go. Alright, how fast are these going? I mean, they're going fast enough. Is it getting any slower as they go along? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's grab this other bar. We'll pop it in down here. We'll slam dunk it in there. Really, game? You just want to, like, be that way? There you go. I don't know if that's any faster. You know what? Whatever. I'm sure it's a little faster. We can just go on a ride like the dirt. I <laughs> like the dirt. Okay, so that stuff's all working as as intended. The next thing is gonna be getting the um getting all those drills put in with dirt underneath them as as necessary. So let's uh Start hauling over the drills because we need 12 of them. Huh? 
for now, we're gonna just kind of set them up, up, set them up up here, so they're easy to grab when we need them. Like this isn't where they're gonna stay. It's just I'm putting them over here to get them where they need to go. It'll also, help me keep track of how many I have over here and how many I need and all that. Let's move these scrap metals out of the way. I don't know if there's any use for scrap metal at all. Like I don't know. Maybe there will be like when it come the next update or something comes out. But currently, there's no use for scrap metal. So if like you blow stuff up and it turns to scrap metal, it's just kind of wasted right now. Unless I'm mistaken, because you can, you can melt down scrap metal into a scrap bar, but you can't use it for crafting or anything. Like if you use it like, like if you can melt scrap metal down to make iron, then that would be useful that way. But like, mm. all right, let's uh, so you got four over there. We need uh, four. We need eight more. We're just gonna put them in a in a row in like a little grid like this. I like how some of these uh, drills seem to be defying gravity. Sometimes you just gotta defy gravity. You just gotta will it into being. Oh, there we go. It's because it was like it was just precariously balancing on the hitbox of one of the other drills. Okay. I think getting all these drills picked up and placed on like this will help with some of the weird like lag too, cause like there's just a big pile of these things just all having to do um, calculations for gravity and all that. So the game doesn't really handle that well. I think this game might still be early access, and if not, it's just gravity and that stuff's kind of a hard thing to deal with in general. So I can't really fault the game for having some slight issues with that because it's a hard problem to solve it's partially solved by like stuff like the pans and the carts having like no collision necessarily like at least less collision once you get stuff placed in there okay we got all the drills over here that we're gonna need that leaves one two three four it should be four yeah Okay. Those ones will go downstairs because we'll be able to make, squeeze them in just barely. But let's grab some dirt from down here. Part of why I haven't finished digging this place out is like if we're gonna set this up, we're gonna need more dirt. Basically, I just duplicate dirt. Oh, and now we got like three pieces of dirt. Because we're gonna need like 12 spots of dirt. <laughs> so we're just gonna break break the laws of thermodynamics and just make more dirt. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, seven. That's eight. Nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so we'll just kind of split that off, and now we got 12 guaranteed spots of dirt, so what we're going to do now is turn our water off, that's also why I have all these running on the same pipes, is that then I can turn everything off all at once. So I can do stuff like this. Uh, let's see. I want to get one of these down here and then scope out where its dirt needs to be. So I can then place the dirt for the other ones roughly <clears throat> where those would need to go. I can also just move the, move the pipes out of the way if I need to get in there. But... 
I'd much per I'd much prefer knowing where the dirt needs to go and then placing it there, but hmm, like right there maybe. Hmm. There's a little bit of dirt left there. I see you, dirt. It's him, that's the guy, Joe Dirt. Oh, stuck in the pipes. I wanna say that's where it needs to go, like in line with this pipe and kind of like in the center there. So we'll try it and if some of them don't work, then oh well, we'll fix it. But I at the very least wanna get these this dirt put in so we can then, uh, that seems about right. Okay. And what I could do now is borrow the dirt from there and then just replace the dirt. I probably could have just did this in the first place, but you know. This also helps eliminate my concerns about there just being a bunch of dirt down in this hole. Because I can just uh, grab from the same pile I just dug from, put it somewhere else. Alright, that should be all the dirt place that we need. Oh. Now just to test this though, we're going to turn this on and make sure this is turned on down here. And if, if, the, if the dirt placement is correct, that one will work. And if that one works, then all the other ones should work. So let's give it a shot. Alright, so that is not enough dirt. That's why we're testing it now before I put all of them in place. Just to find out that it's not working. <laughs> so we need to grab this. I would just have dirt piles up here now. And we'll have to add another scoop on top for each of these. Oh. Oh wait, I might have, did I take the dirt from this one? Um, what? Oh, I think I'm, I might have actually taken the dirt from this one initially to make dirt for the other ones. Well, no, it's, it's there. It's just maybe not, maybe it's not high enough. Oh, it's, it's high enough. It's probably in the wrong spot because I'm blind. <laughs> Being said, I could just go ahead and like um, build these up a little higher anyway. Just um, hmm. It's getting darker. It's getting harder to see. Yeah, I think I will just make these a little higher. And for these ones I'm making higher, we're going to put their things down just to make sure I can still place the... Make sure I can still place the dig the little drills. Because if I can't place them like that, we'll have to place them after... The we'll have to place them and then put dirt in, which would be annoying, but... Oh, it looks like it'll work fine. So let's turn these on real fast and let's turn this on to see if those two work. If they do, 
then I'll try to see if we need to put more dirt. Because maybe that one was just a little jacked up. Okay, those two do work. So we're going to turn the water back off. We're going to sleep. These ones all probably need to um, be a little higher. Where's my, there's the shovel. It feels like there's little bits of dirt floating around now that I've made this mess over here. <laughs> so we put these in place and then this system should be ready to go once I can escape from this hell that I've created for myself. Nope. Alright. Unstuck. <laughs> God damn it. Sometimes you just get trapped in a, tra in a trap of your own creation. Jump right in the hole. So I guess that's good food for thought if you are gonna ever play this game and you need to like know how much dirt needs to be uh, below these drills. It's at least two scoops high. I didn't know that. I just thought that'd be. I didn't. I didn't ever measure it out. I guess I should say. I didn't measure out exactly how much dirt needed to be under these. I just kind of like made it. I just kind of scooped a bunch, put it under there, and hoped it worked. And usually it did. Did so I was like, okay, cool. Then I didn't think about it anymore. Now that we're doing like some industrial grade bullshit with this, I kind of need to know that kind of stuff. Alright, that should be good enough for all the other drills to get put in place and to work. So we'll start just slotting them in there. A slam dunk them in there. Come, get, move, thank you. Now the fun part is going to be placing these damn things. It doesn't seem like they want to really go where I want them to go very easily. Or this one might not want to go in there at all. Oh, no, wait, it did for a second. Sometimes you just get trapped in the ads. Alright, that one's in place. That one's probably the hardest one to get in place. It seemed like it, at least. Sometimes you get trapped in a trap of your own design. These things are gonna be annoying to place because putting the dirt underneath, pre, like pre-placing the dirt underneath them, is, makes it a little harder to actually place them themselves. I think I figured it out though. You just kind of have to like get up in the spot where you're trying to place them. And we're just gonna drop the rest of these down the fucking down the hill. Can't be asked going go, coming back up here every single time to grab them. Just get in there. Get in the hole. What a what a mess. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these ones that works better, but like
Like placing placing these ones seems to be a lot easier than placing the ones earlier. There we go. Alright, let's make sure these are all turned on. Now let's turn this on. Yes! Let's let's go on the journey with them. Let's go with the dirt. I was about to try to grab some of this dirt off the conveyor belt and like run with it like a like a like a dog trying to eat something that's not supposed to, but then I was afraid I'd grab the conveyor belt and then all the other was all the dirt would just fall in the river, so we're not gonna do that. We are gonna go on a little journey with this dirt though. But yeah, now that this is set up, look at all of this just all this dirt. All this extra dirt gonna be coming into here. And it should all fall right in there. It's a lot of, it was a lot of effort, but it's going to be really satisfying to watch them all just kind of flow, because all these are going to be in a straight line. They're not going to be, like, bunched up like the, uh, like these ones are two by two, because they, 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 they all fall off, they all come up and they fall off into another conveyor belt that catches them. So this is going to add a tremendous increase to this situation going on here I just want to see the first let's get down here to see it come on don't be shy don't Hydrate! Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and if we look at this, there's like even more. There's so much stuff coming out of this now. <laughs> Oh, there's some Claudium. Yeah, I, I, I got a feeling that we're not going to have, like, we weren't, already weren't having any money problems. We're definitely not going to have any more, any, any more ever again. We're going to start just nailing down oh, these conveyor belts. I do not want them moving anywhere. Not after all this time and effort I put into getting them down. Oh, I was like, wait, why did it stop? And the answer is, uh, that broke. That's okay. That is designed to break. Alrighty. No. Help. 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 <laughs> help me. I'm getting stuck. I win the game. I mean, there's no winning, Hydraneer. <laughs> oh, there's so much dirt up here. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll nail down all these um, conveyors. Yeah, this is the first time I've like utilized this space over here for and like literally anything. So it's nice to uh, have these in place, even if it took a long ass time to get all this stuff put in place, like literal hours, like figuring out how to get it all to work how I need to and all that. But but yeah, so that's gonna add extra throughput. Look at all this stuff. It's like midair. All right, well. Let's see, 0, 22, 45, 67, 89. So we need to fix the first three. All right, now this will all run. And again, the main advantage of having these uh, filter filter pipes is that all of these machines I have down here and over here aren't taking any damage whatsoever. Just these five filters. So all these will just will run as long as these things are maintained and fixed. All of them will run at forever. As long as those five things are fixed there. So it's just super worth to, to do those water filters like that. Okay, so I do still have like four drills over here. Yeah, I saw four drills. We might be, I think we can squeeze them in like down here. We're gonna turn the water off and we'll figure that out. We're gonna pull up the blocks we had down there and we'll pull up all these blocks. so that we can move things around as we need to. So we'll Hydrate! This damn block's not going how I want it. Go! Do it! Do it! No! There we go. Now it's right side up, so I can place these more easily. It's like, no! <laughs> ah. Arizona tea. Well, it's not really tea I'm drinking, it's like fruit punch, but the concept the same. Still 99 cents after 10 million years. Alright, so. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do this, we're gonna need to move our pipe situation a little, not by much, thankfully. Cause there, there, we can still have this stuff, like, here, just move it just a little bit. The installation of more stuff over here is gonna be pretty simple, thankfully. We need two more conveyor belts there. This guy's still got a shard bar after all this time. Like all this stuff down here runs on one of these, and I think the other thing up here has another chamber. Yeah, it does. Oh, kind of an awkward spot. Let's fix that. Let's move. <clears throat> we're gonna want to. Um, so I don't know if a pipe can go there. So we're gonna have to figure that out. <clears throat> Who knows, maybe after all we won't be able to fit another one in there. I mean, we could push all this back a little more, but that would ruin all that too, so I don't wanna do that really. Uh, let's... Six, seven, right there's where that pipe would need to move. Let's just kind of move you out of the way. There's just like a random, I just, <laughs> there's just a pipe floating down here that I just didn't notice was floating down there. All right, so five, six, seven, we're gonna, we would need. 
Let's switch you around. That's actually just right. Yeah, overall, this this dig Ember Cradle is very limited in what you can do because there's so little space. But I'm trying to just squeeze out as much space as much out of it as I can. Just get you out of the way. Go over there. Uh, so. Got this junk, don't really care. Um, so we're gonna need, you're gonna need to move. Sure. Move you. Maybe not there. Um, that's gonna need to move like, let's see, six, seven. This pipe can go in there like that for, um, conveyor belt but it probably needs to go elsewhere like probably like right here if it'll let me place the damn pipe correctly oh I can put a pipe there okay we might be able to actually make this work then I was afraid that there was gonna be like one space where I wouldn't be able to place a pipe but that space is right here and we can so we probably, we likely will be able to fit those two in there. Let's, so let's get those. We need uh, two more, we need another three T's specifically for that. I know we've got some lying around and we did buy more. So just kind of drop that down the hole. Uh, there's some more in here too, I think, yeah. Oh, well, I guess that's all of them, so if we still need more, then we're just going to have to buy a few more. I'll look around, see if there's any wayward pipes that I can use. So they sometimes just have random ones laying around. Um, I do want to put this on um, this belt up here, just because I think it would be look cool to have them all... I think they might already all be centered, basically, but like... If you notice, like, it's like a bunch of not centered stuff right there. But I think they more or less get centered when they come up here. But we'll just put that on there anyway, because I need it's it's just it needs somewhere to go. <laughs> Let's get out of here again. That's not the pipe I I need per se, but. Oh well. Uh, let's skip back down there and see if I have enough T's. I, I'm thinking that I don't, but we can put them in place and figure it out from there. Let's see. T goes in down here. If I can place the damn pipe, that would be great. The placement in this game is um can be a pain in the ass. Let's be real. Okay. Let's move the shard bart out of it. The shard bart. <laughs> okay, so that'd be that drill. And we do need at least one more T. So I think I'll just go buy that real fast. Like just one T pipe. And if I need more, then I'll deal with that when I get to that. <clears throat> All right. All right. So those drills are now, those places now have. Yeah, that totally makes sense.
All right, so that will hook up that way. Um, hmm. We might need another T-pipe, actually. Actually, no. I think we'll be fine, because we just need this one to kind of go upwards. <clears throat> now, you go upwards, if you let me place the damn pipe game. Okay. I know there's like a an el yeah there's like an extra elbow somewhere. All right, that can go there. We need another elbow to go into here. We can actually properly reuse that pipe and then. There's like an extra free floater there. There's the elbow we need. No elbow left behind. Okay, now we need to get this thing in the right orientation because that's not that's not gonna work very well. Uh, it's so hard to see what everything is doing. Oh, that actually, that's, I think that'll actually work. So let's put that there and. Drills go there. It's gonna be a very tight fit. Let's be let's be completely honest. Matter of fact, I might have to switch this around to that and act and clear that out a little bit more. Which makes me wish I was able to figure out this pickaxe upgrading thing, because then I'd be able to dig it out a little faster. But mm, it's fine. Because this this whole place is not fully dug out yet this this side at least because I just didn't really feel the need to plus I needed dirt to set those ones over there up too so I still needed dirt and once dirt's gone you don't really have dirt anymore unless you like go to another dig and get some which I mean you can do nothing stopping you but I also don't know don't know if I really care to dig this place out. it kind of looks cool with all like these like stalagmites of dirt or whatever the way but yeah that's where we'll have uh we'll put the bar we need our drills we need i do need another t actually because i need to have this pipe go this way to hook up the conveyors so we need another t we do have the pipes we need though for the uh the conveyors themselves that needs to be a T anyway, so we'll just kind of drop you off there. Let's go buy another T. I'm trying not to buy too many more of these um, iron pipes because when we get to the next dig, we'll be doing nothing but tier two stuff. So these pipes won't really have a use anymore. They'll just kind of stay here at Ember Cradle in case I need to change something here, which might not happen. We might not need to change too much more with this after we get all this going here. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, that's set up. <clears throat> let's get our pickaxe out of the hole here. We don't need it to be in the way. Let's grab our shovel. It should be around here somewhere. It might be in the. Oh, it's right here. I'll grab some dirt from up here since I need to clean up my mess. And we are gonna do the same deal that we did with the other place. Except we have dirt over here, so we can just kind of stack it up a lot more easily. Alright, that should be good enough for these. So let's go ahead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get out of the way, shovel. Shovel's trying to trying to let me down one last time. Um, what was I doing? Drills. Oh, shard bar. That needs to go in here before it'll do even any even do anything. So let's. Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Get in there. There you go. We're gonna put more blocks down, which means we might need to move this somewhere else too <clears throat> we'll probably need to move it back by one 
if he'll let, if he'll even let us do that. So in that case, we probably need to move this stuff out of the way in preparation for that. It's getting a little tedious to place blocks at this point. Is that our little construction area? Yeah, we're gonna need to get this stuff and move it back by one. We'll either move it back by one, or if it doesn't let us do anything that direction, then we'll have to uh, figure it out from there. I am. I, I do need to be watching my time though, because like, I do still need to like leave at a decent time so I can get to work at the right time. There we go. Let's see if it'll let us place. It will technically, but we might have to dig out a little bit more. That's not where I wanted you to go, but all right. Do a little bit of digging to get cleanly out of our situation here. Place the damn block, please. <sighs> no, now I'm stuck. <laughs> because I, I had to be basically in the side the block to place the block, so it's just like, hmm, guess you're just gonna guess you're stuck here forever. Um, I might, I could do that, like, next stream, which might end up being, like, Saturday, because this is a pretty fun game to play on Saturday, where I just kind of vibed out for, like, eight hours. <laughs> which kind of goes to show, like, just how long it can take to do some of this stuff without the ability just to, like... Use stairs for the point... For the pointy roof uh, they have actual roof tiles that we'd be able to use if we were gonna make a little house yeah I figured we can make like a little struck a little building up top once we get this finished off which I mean it's about done I'm just trying to tidy up tidy up the place a little bit to make it easier to get in and out again this way to move stuff Alright, so we should be able to grab these drills and put them in that's that's not a drill. <laughs> that is that is explosives. They end up not using. Okay, we got that. We need two more conveyors before we can actually have this finalized, because there's no more room for stuff after this. I was, I'm honest, I was honestly surprised we were able to fit this stuff too. Cause I was like, okay, that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we could use these uh, stairs for the pointy roof. That would look kind of cool. It look. It'd be an interesting look for sure. All 
There's also like stone walls and stuff you can buy too, but I think I'd probably have wood just because it'd be a nice contrast to the concrete floors. Okay. We're not going to have any of this working yet because the water's off, but we'll turn all these on so that when the time comes, it will work fine. Let's move this too because we don't need it there anymore. Okay, and then we need two conveyor belts. We'll go buy those real fast. Unless I, ha unless I like, use the power of... Yeah, they have like a full like building stuff you can do. It's pretty cool. Like like I was talking saying with a uh, animal like this game you can kind of just do whatever you want to do with this game. Like if you want to just dig dirt and pan it like like a freaking American pioneer searching for gold in the in like the stream, you can do that. You can be a little, a little like a little like dirt cryptid like that. But if you want to do like like what I'm doing is like building up like a, a conveyor belt system and all that you can do that too or you can just go fishing and after the next update they're gonna add farming so you could just be a fucking farmer if you really want I'm, gu I'm guessing there's gonna be like industrial farming too like like some sort of like auto harvesting system or something like that it just seems like something they would do with this game and all the stuff they already have all right, let's grab these Okay, and then this will finish off our setup. Let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be driving by the building store because so I can just show off like the stuff they have. Yeah, like, like see, they've got like the wooden walls with windows. They got like wooden walls. They've got big concrete floors, which are four of these together, which is honestly pretty cool. I might have to buy some of those. Uh, a wooden table. They got doors. They got that. They got these things. They got these. A slanted roof. They got the corners. They got other windows. I don't know what you would do with these. Maybe these windows are big enough to take up the whole wall. I don't know, but... We got this stuff, we got chairs, we got tables. And there's another shop that sells like fancier stuff too, but that'll be another, that'll be like a next stream kind of deal of maybe making a little house up to, up top. Now that we're gonna be finishing off this stuff and putting these drills in and making sure they work is gonna be like the last thing we do for the stream because I gotta get ready to go to work. Since I'm, since I'm, lunch is already pre-made, I just grab out of the fridge, get dressed and go, but so we got a nice bit longer of a stream today. Because I like to wake up at 8 a.m. on Wednesdays. And, like, Monday and Tuesday are the only days I wake up at, like, like before 7. Because those days I want to have guaranteed uh, four-hour streams. But <clears throat> the rest of the week I wake up at 8 because the, the sleep is nice to have when I got to drive, like, 40 minutes one way each day to work and then 40 minutes back after work so like the sleep extra sleep is appreciated all right let's get these conveyor belts put in and then we'll turn the system all on and make sure it all works and that stuff works i haven't touched that i'm not going to but once we confirm everything works that's probably where we're going to end and then this will be set up for uh, just real good times. All right, we're gonna have to get in here and come on, really? You're gonna be difficult like that? The answer is yes, it is. Come on, really? You get? Gonna... It's gonna be like that. Oh, I saw it for a second. There we go. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> Help! I could move. I could move things. Get out of the way. I just don't care. I will use the power of being a trans-dimensional being and <laughs> just whoop. All right, so that's in place. These are all on. Those are all on. Ooh. 
let's turn it all on and this will, th those four drills will add even more throughput to this system of just ridiculous sh when did that happen get in there I wonder if it got too full so it made a bar I wonder if that's what these do I don't know but or maybe I accidentally clicked it and wasn't paying attention hard to say but let's turn this on and watch it flow <clears throat> Okay, they all work. So basically adds four more pieces of dirt to this, and honestly, I'm surprised this thing can keep up. Look at this thing go. Just constantly glorf, glorf, glorf. Let's make some big ass to celebrate. We'll make like we'll get like the biggest gym we can find in here <clears throat> Oh here comes some more emeralds probably it's probably gonna be an emerald. Let's be real Hurry <laughs> yeah, just in time <clears throat> It's probably gonna be the emerald, but we'll set we'll look at all of them anyway like, That's a big freaking onyx a few that hadn't been hammered down yet. Alright, whatever. Uh, okay. So first one we're gonna we're gonna ch well, we'll look at the onyx because it's it's gonna be worth a lot, like twenty four grand by itself, and it's still not very big. You are eighteen point three, worth less than the onyx and are a lot bigger. Let me see, what was this one again? Uh, 24. Okay, let's look at the ruby. 18, pretty much similar to the sapphire, and you're probably gonna be worth the most. Easily, easily, 40 grand for this big ass, almost 2,000 pound emerald. <laughs> oh, you mean the chaos emeralds? <laughs> <coughs> All right, so we're gonna make a big ass necklace and sell that shit. Put the rest of these back in their little home. Uh, let's, so let's pour out what, I don't know how much gold we even have at this point. I'm gonna wait for a patch of, no, we're gonna, we're, we'll have to turn this thing off to get any sort of like stoppage in this because it's just so absurdly fast now that like I can barely like process what's going on all right let's heat our bar up oh how big is this bar Three hundred and eighty thousand gold well hydroneer money or whatever so we'll heat that up we'll place it on our anvil we'll split it with the saw and then we could big ass necklace sell that and then end the stream <laughs> All right, it's probably hot enough now. All right, sweet. Now this is worth $504,000. So yeah, we're we're good on money for a while. Like I don't know if there I don't know what we could spend all that money even on. Probably just like well, I guess the uh, tier two pipes are a little pricey. We're gonna need a lot of those, cause, like, cause um, the claim that we're, that we're going to next is called South Hope, and it is like <clears throat> massive. It's 22 blocks deep. <laughs> and it's just, it's just absurd how big it is compared to this place. So we're not only gonna have to dig that out, but we're gonna have to um set up stuff like this it's gonna take so long and we're gonna need a lot of money to do that so but now we have 785 grand 
It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Alright. Well, on that note, we're gonna end. We've gotten all that we wanted to do done today done. Like, this is all set up. We even squeezed in a few extra over there. So, like, this place is as developed as I want to get it. Or as probably as I really can get it. We might be, we might have been able to fit in more drills down there if we dug out the rest of this. But, mm, we could figure something out with that. But for now, we're gonna, like, like leave that there. Let's, uh, save and quit to desktop. Go! Da -na -na. All right. In that, well, thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out while I was playing today. I appreciate you very much. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can drop a raid real fast, but I got like like emphasis on fast because I gotta get ready to go to work. <laughs> uh, Twitcheroo. Who do we have here? Well, it looks like a uh, Heretric is playing more uh, Path of Exile. Um, Anna Marana. It says just chatting on them. Let's. I'm gonna. This world. Oh. Well, it says just chatting on them. We'll see what they're doing. It says just chatting. Kissing with jackal wife. Squints. What does that mean? I want to see what they're actually doing before. Rating up. Well. Looks like just chatting. Uh, we're going to raid the Heretric in that case, just because they're playing something, which might be more interesting to watch. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're losing my damn mind. There we go. Yeah, thank you for being here, Nakura. As always, you're amazing, and it's awesome hanging out with you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop the stream. We're going to raid the Heretric. See you there.